But if the people of New Jersey feel betrayed today by those who did this in the House last night, then they have good company. I'm with them. Governors and members of Congress from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut are dumbfounded after House Speaker John Boehner stopped a vote last night that would have provided much needed aid for relief from Superstorm Sandy. The act brought outrage and Boehner quickly changed his tune. Meantime, Sandy victims are still waiting for help. Good evening, everyone. I'm Renata Steele. Thanks for joining us here on the late edition in high definition. JB has the night off. Well, it's been more than two months since Superstorm Sandy hit the East Coast, leaving millions of people suffering. A package passed by the U.S. Senate last week would have brought more than $60 billion in relief funds to the area, but the House never got a chance to vote. WENY TV's Joe Melillo joins us live in the studio with the story. Now, Joe, what went wrong here? No one really knows, Renata. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie was furious at the lack of action, but House Speaker John Boehner has promised to get a new relief package passed as soon as next week. 66 days and counting. Shame on you. Shame on Congress. People in the tri-state area are still suffering after Superstorm Sandy, and leaders are furious at the lack of hustle from Congress. On Tuesday, the House had the opportunity to pass a Senate bill that would provide $60 billion of relief money. I urgently beg the Speaker of the House of Representatives to put any political concerns aside and for the sake of these victims and victims of other disasters across America, pass this critically important bill as quickly as possible. Democrats and Republicans were ready to move forward, but House Speaker John Boehner didn't call for the vote on Tuesday night and thus killing the bill. The non-vote means no action can be taken until after the new Congress is sworn in. Then a new bill needs to be created, then passed by both the House and the Senate. Governor Cuomo and I are not wallflowers. We are not shrinking violets. And we have resources at our disposal, too. And we're going to continue to work together and fight together to make sure that this happens. And after talks today, money may be on the way. A vote on $9 billion on immediate aid is set for Friday, with another vote for an extra $51 billion could be as soon as January 15th. The bottom line is that between uh, Friday morning and January 15th, those two votes uh, will bring in $60 billion that's absolutely necessary for New York, New Jersey, and uh, Connecticut. So as far as I'm concerned, I think I can speak for all the members of uh, New York and New Jersey delegations, it was an extremely positive meeting. Now, in a statement, Boehner and Majority Leader Eric Cantor said critical aid to storm victims should be the first priority of the new Congress, which convenes on Thursday. Live in the studio, Joe Melillo, WENY-TV News.